guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as I did in my February and March wrap up because I just filmed that video. So in February and March, I didn't really read as much as I wanted to and I didn't really read the books that I really wanted to. So right now I'm done with my oral exams and I'm pretty much sort of done with school, kind of, not really. I finished my school exams, but now in May I have my really big central exams, which everyone in the Netherlands has to do in their last year of high school. And I still need to study a lot, like a lot for that. Not happy about it, but for right now I have like a little bit of a calm period, so I hope that I can read these five books that I have to show you guys right now. Let's start off with the book that I'm currently reading because I almost finished this in March, but today is April the 2nd, so I think I'm gonna finish it today or tomorrow, and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm reading the illustrated edition, so I don't have the disc jacket on it right now because I don't want to damage that. This is my very first time reading Harry Potter in English and it's such an amazing experience. I definitely prefer it to reading Harry Potter in Dutch. I mean, you just have all the original jokes and puns in English and it's just a lot better. And this is also just an amazing experience reading it with a ton of beautiful illustrations. So one of my favorite drawings is like the drawings of Diagonally because it's so detailed and you have like different shops on it and it's just so pretty. So I will definitely be finishing this book today or tomorrow because I only need to read this tiny little bit. This month I also want to read this book Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon because the movie adaptation of this one will be coming out in like the beginning or the end of May somewhere in May. <laughs> so this is a contemporary book about a girl who is allergic to everything but then there is a new boy living next to her and she falls in love with him and I believe that this is gonna be a cute story and it's really short so I should be able to fly through it. So I really cannot wait to read this and I also really wanted to read The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon because I've heard that that one is even better than this one and Everything Everything has already got amazing reviews. Another contemporary which has gotten a lot of buzz lately and also the past year is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Baki Albertalli. So I mainly picked this up because it was cheap and because I've been meaning to read this for a while. Plus I've heard a lot of people talk about this book lately. I believe it came out last year, but all of a sudden because spring and summer is coming, everyone is reading this one. So this story is about Simon who has been emailing his like internet boyfriend that he has like a crush on. So he is emailing this guy in school and then he doesn't look out of his computer. So someone in his class finds out this that Simon is gay, but Simon is still in the closet. He hasn't told anyone. So this guy in his school is blackmailing Simon. And that's all that I know. It doesn't sound that cute, but apparently it will be. And this is also a perfect story for the Rita theme readathon theme of April, which is LGBTQ+, which I'm super excited for, so I will definitely be picking up this one. Okay, so after I've read Contemporary, I always have this craving of fantasy, and I feel like a lot of other people have that as well. So I have two options for fantasy this month. Even though I still have so many fantasy books on my TBR, right now I feel like these are the ones that I want to read at the moment. So the first one is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The third book, A Conjuring of Light, just came out, I think, at the end of February? Yeah, I think so. And everyone has been talking about it, and I believe that it's a really good conclusion to the series, but I've heard amazing things about this one. This book is about four parallel Londons, gray, white, black and red London, and I believe there's one without any magic, and in the other three there is a lot of magic, or not too much magic, but we follow this main character who can travel between these parallel Londons, and it's supposed to be a really epic fantasy novel, so I'm excited to read this one. And I also have the second book, so if I start this one, really enjoy it, and I want to continue, then I can. Last but not least, the other fantasy book that I would like to get to is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas, and I've already read this one, one or two years ago, I believe, and this is my favorite fantasy novel, I think, ever. It's just so action-packed, and I loved it so very much, but I started Air of Fire one and a half years ago, I believe, and I just couldn't get into it because I had forgotten a lot of things, and in the first 70 pages, all of a sudden, there are characters being introduced, and I'm like, who is this? What is going on? So I feel like I need to reread this one to refresh my mind so that I can continue with the series because, I mean, the sixth book is coming out next year in May, and I really need to just 
get on with the other books as well. And before I get to Era Fire, I also want to read The Assassin's Blade by Sarah Dumas because these are like uh, four or five short stories in the Throne of Glass universe and I've heard that this one is just as amazing as the normal books in the series. So I just want to read Crown of Midnight and The Assassin's Blade before I continue with Era Fire, Queen of Shadows, and Empire of Storms. That was the name. Ooh. Okay guys, so these are the books that are on my April TBR. I don't think I will get through all of them. I mean, looking at my reading paste for the past couple of three months, but I really want to. So let's just keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.